And um, we made the porn channel, and we went in there, and we were exchanging links, and then somebody told NASCARs we existed. Well, before that, uh, we had the issue with Astark. Oh, um, what, oh, did Astark, Astark came in, right? Yeah, he came in, and we all scattered. Yeah, it was like a, we were a bunch of teenagers sampling beer at a party. We just were, book it, guys! <laughs> It's funny we all, because at, for some reason even I was scared of Astark, and I was currently ranked higher than him in the off. Yeah, but we all were gone, and then he's like, who the fuck was in Porn Channel? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling Naskurge, and then I was like, wait a minute, nothing could go wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a long time passed. And our my brother and I just found the new avatar, and actually, a long time passed, and um, our server restarted many times, thanks to a guy who will not be named Daskourage. <clears throat> and uh, we lost Porn Channel, but we brought it back, and then nobody would come in, because it was called Porn Channel. So we um, changed the title. <laughs> yeah. To um, help people wandering around attempting to find the rules. Help them find something more useful than the rules. <laughs> Not to say so, yeah. the rules aren't useful. You should the follow... secret rules are much better. You should follow them at all times. <laughs> Which we might need to edit the secret rules because it still has Max this boss. <laughs> um, yeah. Poor Max. Too bad he's stupid. <laughs> For those of you that aren't aware... Um, UE recently opened their doors and then recently closed them. It, they were open for about two days. Yeah. And, um, during that time, Max Apex was the admin there. And he was an owner here, but he was on for a good chunk of one day on, um, UE, but he wasn't on on us. Which told me he'd rather be an admin on UE than an owner on, um, Breakdown. So I accommodated. <laughs> Yes. I helped him out there. I was there throughout all this reasoning and agreed. And we took his owner away, and he um, raged, obviously. He he got almost kind of a NASCAR style, I'm not even mad, though. Um, And then, not long after that, UE closed. And Maxipax was on our server the other day. We're like, man, UE is so much more active than us right now. <laughs> I would much rather be an admin there than an owner here. <laughs> He's like, haha, very funny dicks. I think I need to re add the thing about rules channel to the featured section. <clears throat> it's true. Rules channel definitely needs to get some more love. Usually it's just you and me, and sometimes, usually, we're not even posting links. Yeah. We usually, just Skype I'm just putting all my alts in there. <laughs> To keep track of them. Alright, I guess that's all we can say about Jailbaru, which means we can talk about Haster! Haster, our lovely new owner. Yeah, Haster is... She's very sweet, and we actually have a picture of her that you can access by typing slash Haster. Um, Currently, please. that only works for mods, but I could actually probably fix that to work for everyone. But, um, she's very cute. She's a short blonde with big blue eyes. And she usually wears yellow, and she's so cute. But I digress. She's our new owner. Um, so yeah. Haster is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Haster Sometimes she does weird stuff, but, um, people... People make her. People, people do what now? They make her ban people and do stupid stuff, and then we have to is very take manipulable. away their power. If you're a, if you're a mod or higher, you can um you can manipulate Haster pretty easily. She bows pretty frequently to people with off. Yeah. Um, but uh, remember back in when we Haster first joined Breakdown that um Haster loved King Space. <laughs> and then immediately after Haster hated King Trace. Oh yes, and, and then the next uh, sentence she loved King Trace again. <laughs> it was very confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Haster had an argument with Haster. <laughs> I love King Trace. <laughs> no, I don't. I only love Max of Hex. 
But um, yeah, if you are a mod and you think you want to manipulate Haster a little bit, you can use the Haster commands. Which will tell Haster um, what you want her to do. Yeah, it sends a private message to Haster letting her know um, what you want her to say or do. She can tell the difference between those and real private messages also. She, she definitely can. They are labeled as slash Haster messages. Yes, and there's a password that it sends as well. <laughs> it sends all the things she says to Haster. So if she sees all the things she said running through her head, um, she'll know... Quit telling them is- more passwords. I'm going to have to keep changing them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So that's Haster. Um, try her out. Um, let her know what you think. Uh, she loves getting PMs, by the way. She might not respond to them, but she does love getting them. She saves them. She actually has um, kind of a diary of all the PMs. It's very nice. Um, she she blushes a lot and she stutters sometimes. And um, we hope that you all fall desperately in love with her, because that would just be awesome. <laughs> like Paper Nine One One. Oh, I should not have cu- should not have given that shout out at all. Why? Uh, because I feel like... I don't know. He'll get mad. <laughs> well, that'll be funny. <laughs> but yeah, that's all about Haster. And now we come to what I hope will be the the um most interesting and probably the most time-consuming portion of this podcast. Complaining about Pokemon! <laughs> okay, number one. You can start. You can start. My favorite thing that happened was that we banned Dragonite, and then you, you, the users, all of you, I see you in there. <laughs> you all, you all decided, put some clothes on for Christ's sake. Um, you all decided to um, to unban Dragonite because he's totally not broken at all. I'm like what the fuck, guys? <laughs> And now, of course, we didn't ban Dragonite as a whole. We had multi-skill banned, which wasn't even right, inter- which wasn't restricted of of moves. <laughs> it was only restrictive of the ability. Right. You could still use Outrage. You could still use Dragon Dance. You could still even use Hurricane. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, apparently you guys don't like that because uh, you unbanned it. Do you guys understand what multi-skill does? Like, Dragonite doesn't naturally survive Choice Specs, um, Sarmi Ice Beam. Well, that must be painful. I've never, I've never actually, I've never actually used Choice Specs Ice Beam from a Starmie on a Dragonite, but I'm sure it lives. Uh, it lives pretty much, and, um, then it uses Dragon Dance, and then you're wondering where your team went. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't even have to have a Dragon Dance set for it to be broken. I've ran Banded with no speed EVs, and it's still it's still ridiculous. Just as a wall breaker. That bulk is just crazy. A wall breaking and then, wall. And then it breaks... It has Fire Punch, so it breaks Feral Thorn. has Extreme Speed, so it breaks shit that's faster than it, too. Oh, and, um... It was my... <laughs> On back before Excadrill banned, why would Dragonite ever be my Excadrill counter? It shouldn't be. Dragonite shouldn't be an Excadrill counter, but it was. As long as you're at 100%, it can take those rock slides. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but Haxorus, well, now I'm just talking about how the team worked. That's really nothing to do with it. I was going to say, I didn't have a rapid spinner, but Bandit Haxorus lead somehow manages to stop rocks from most people. <laughs> but, yeah, um, then it also has that fucking Parashuffler set, which makes me, you know, I rage quit when I do Parashuffler Dragonite because I can't, wh- what the fuck am I going to do? It's just, I just it's hit. more the, it's not really that it's good at paralyzing your whole team if you don't want it to. But you have to keep sending the same thing back in every time at Dragon Tails, or else it will paralyze everything. And if you let them set up hazards, and uh, it's just the most annoying fucking thing. 
Yeah, I've never actually ran it with hazards, which is weird because I normally have hazards, but it would probably be terrible with hazards. It's crazy with hazards. Oh, but, um, Prankster, Roar. The part, uh, Ryolu? Ryolu. Yeah. It's considered broken by a lot of people. It is broken if you don't have Protect, or if you don't have faster priority. Actually, Dragonite was my counter to Riolu back in the day, because it had extreme speed. Yeah, but Riolu's so fucking... I just had to stall out all the copycats. Yeah, stall out the copycats, or use Protect. Because if you use Protect, it copycats Protect. The list of things that can counter it is so sl slim. Aside from everything. Everything that has protect. Yeah, but like, I mean, you... if you're specifically weak to Riolu, you can just put protect on any one thing. And then you just wait for that thing to come in and use, prote use protect. There's also a little thing called Espeon, Zatu. Are, is your, are you talking? Because I can't hear you. Okay, I can barely hear you. No, I can't. Okay, am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. Um, you can also copycat, um, if you want to do it this way, you can copycat. Like, if, that, if your bro brings in a Dragonite, if your opponent does... And you feel like not dealing with Dragonite, just um, wait until it uses, uh, just wait until you think it's going to use Outrage and then use Copycat. That'll probably kill it if it's not multi-scale. Oh, well, you don't wait until it's going to use Outrage, because then it would just copy the move that used before. You'd have to wait till after it used Outrage. Oh, you yeah, could keep copycatting its dragon dances. <laughs> that would that would be troll. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Also, copycat uh, focus punch. It actually works. You get a priority 150 base power move. That hurts. Oh, dude, that actually would be pretty sweet. And it even it even works with Lucario because it copycats a zero priority, so you get a one hundred fifty base power zero yeah, priority move. Lucario's dream world ability isn't um prankster. I know, that's why I'm saying copycat zero priority, so it doesn't have negative priority anymore is my point. Oh that's right. It's so stupid though. I wish Lucario didn't get justified. Not that Justified is bad for Lucario, just Copycat would be better. I mean, Prankster. Copy, oh uh, yeah, Prankster. Prankster would be sick. <laughs> Prankster Sword Sands? Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, Genesect is the other one. And I'm not complaining because Genesect is banned. I'm complaining because a lot of people think it shouldn't be. <laughs> like, like every other, like every once in a while, you'll get the one guy who comes in, and he'll be like, "Oh my God, Genesect's banned on the server, bunch of noobs!" All my teams have Genesect, and I'm ranked twelve hundred because of it. And then you're like, twelve hundred, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> if you need Genesect to get twelve hundred, maybe you should go back to school. <laughs> Join our tutoring program if you rely on Genesect to get above one thousand. Uh, but it's so broken, I don't even understand why people think it's not. Yeah, our tutoring program needs a new leader, by the way. Who's, who was the old one, Max of Hacks? Yeah. The two, oh, thing, the two reasons... Well, he, he, he doesn't really do anything, though. He just edits the thread. <laughs> but yeah, GeneSect is so icky. Like, uh, the download boost is horrible. Of course, we probably need a new leader for the uh, Frontier section, since I claim to have taken it over, but haven't done anything with it. That, yeah, probably. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. 
uh, definitely need to do some work around Rogo. Yeah, the, not as much as you. The needs. problem is um, when no one will take over something, that pretty much forces me to take it over, and I've got a bunch of other stuff I'm always trying to do on the server. I try to do some things. Just I just really being do. a gym leader is one thing, and.